Inverter generators. What are they? What makes them different from your standard open frame generator? And why should you maybe think about buying one? Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. Back with another generator video for you, so let's dive right in. All right, so today we're going to talk about inverter generators versus open frame generators. What's the difference? Which one's better? Why should I spend more money on one? Let's talk about what makes an inverter generator an inverter generator. So we need to understand open frame generators first. These guys run just like your typical vehicle. They have an engine that drives an alternator. That alternator sends dirty, jagged power straight to the control panel, straight to the plugs right there. So, you know, it's efficient, but it's not the cleanest power in the world. So an inverter generator does the same thing. It runs an engine that drives an alternator, but from there, it runs it through a rectifier that turns it into DC battery style power, then runs it out through an inverter, which cleans it up and gives you pure sine wave power. It makes it clean so that it's really good on electronics. Okay, so first point, inverter generators tend to be significantly quieter. Most of these tend to be quiet enough you can carry a conversation on right next to it. Three real reasons. Number one, you'll see the extra insulation around this, whereas this is kind of an open frame. That helps dampen it. Number two, they tend to have smaller engines. Smaller engines equal quieter. And they tend to be, or they are, variable speed, which means they only run as hard as the load that's on it. So the lower load, the quieter the generator. Now, these guys, the open frame generators, run full tilt all the time. They basically run open. So they don't really go up or down a whole lot. So they're just wide open and they make all the noise with that big open frame, larger engine. Number two, the power tends to be much cleaner. Less than 5% total harmonic distortion, which means power that comes off this looks more like lightning bolts, whereas this looks like a nice smooth sine wave that you would have seen in physics class back in grade 11. So this puts out pure, clean power, which is great for sensitive, expensive electronics. You've got a CPAP machine, uh, computers, plasma TVs, anything that requires clean power, you're going to need an inverter generator. If the power doesn't matter, you can go with an open frame generator. Now another benefit or difference to inverter generators is they can be run in parallel. They're typically designed for that. So here's the thing. I'm a big fan of two is one, one is none, three is a guarantee. Now, if you need 4,000 watts worth of power, or say in this instance, you need 7,000 watts worth of power, you can buy two of these inverter generators and you can daisy chain them together. They'll either come with a box that you plug both into or a piggyback cable that plugs the two of them together. Now, what that ends up doing is that allows you to double both your peak and your running watts. But the other cool thing is, say you're going camping and you only need 3,500 watts. Well, you can take just the one generator with you. Also, if you have all 7,000 watts in a single generator and that generator dies, you're out of luck. But if you have two generators that you have piggybacked together, one of them dies, you still have half capacity. So the benefit or the feature built into most, if not all, inverter generators is the ability to run them into parallel and to get double the wattage output. Next, inverters run at variable speed. Like I mentioned before, these basically run at a standard RPM, whereas inverter generators are intelligent and they will ramp the RPMs up or down depending on the load. And what's really cool about that is you tend to use less fuel. So these will run longer on the same amount of fuel simply because it only uses the fuel that it needs. Now, what are the drawbacks to inverter generators? Well, the first one is they tend to be a little bit more expensive. You're gonna pay more dollars per watt with the equivalent inverter generator versus the equivalent open frame standard style generator. So I ran some numbers, I grabbed two off of the Harbor Freight website that are as close in size as I can get and I crunched the numbers for you. A Harbor Freight 3,500 watt inverter generator works out to 27 cents per watt available. Open frame Predator generator from Harbor Freight is 4,375 watts. It works out to 11 cents per available watt, almost two thirds cheaper. 
So you pay a significant premium for the inverter generators because of all the ele extra electronics, the extra inverter, and the rectifier, all of that extra technology that goes into it, you pay quite a bit more. Inverter generators tend to be smaller, but the weight per watt tends to be a little bit higher as well. So the Harbor Freight 3500 watt inverter generator works out to about 35 watts per pound. And the Harbor Freight 4375 watt generator works out to right around 41 watts per pound. So not a huge difference, but a difference nonetheless. You're getting an extra almost 1000 watts for the same weight. So that's something to think about. So why would you buy an inverter generator? Well, the big thing, two, two big reasons that most people would want an inverter generator. Number one, if you're in an area where OPSEC, operational security is important, or you're going to a campground where noise is a premium, or you just can't stand the noise of a generator, you don't wanna piss off your neighbors, these work. Typically, your normal inverter generator, you can run and stand right next to it and have a conversation. This guy right here runs in the 55 to 60 decibel range. A normal conversation where I'm talking right now is around 70, significantly quieter. Number two, if you're running expensive or sensitive electronics, that's when the money for an inverter generator pays for itself. Because the last thing you wanna do, run electronics through the jagged electricity in an open frame generator and fry something. You run LED lights out of these quite often. They're winking on and off a little bit. Sometimes your computers won't start. Worse than that, if you run them long-term, you can shorten the life of your electronics. So if, you, if you're looking for something that's ultra quiet or you're looking to run sensitive electronics, an inverter generator is the way to go. So I hope that helps, guys. I hope I made that as quick and as simple as I could. If you have questions, follow up with me because I'll do a second video in this series. I got a ton of generator videos if you want to check them out. There'll be a link in the pinned comment to my generator playlist if you want to find out all the other stuff that I've taught about generators. And like I said, if you got questions, throw them out there. Subscribe, run by toolmantim.co if you want to find out more about what I offer. And guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.